Welcome back everyone. Let us discuss about the minimum description length principle in this session. This minimum description length principle is based on the Occam's razor, which we discussed in the decision tree learning. So when we discussed with the hypothesis space search, there we have seen the Occam's razor, right? So there we have seen that choose the shortest explanation for the observed data. Occam razor says that choose the shortest hypothesis. Similarly here, choose the shortest explanation for the observed data, which helps us to deal with the issue of overfitting. So this minimum description length principle is motivated by the definition of HMAP. So this we will be interpreting with respect to the information theory. Okay, so as per the information theory, we will be using the code to encode a message I, right? So now, what is the definition of H map? It is R max P of D by H multiplied with P of H. This we have seen when we discussed the Bayes theorem, right? The same formula we are using here. And now we want to apply the information theory, right? So as per the information theory, any message requires log base to PI number of bits. So this is proved by Shannon. So, if you have studied design and analysis of algorithms or ADA, so there you have seen the optimal length coding, right? So, that is Huffman coding. So, there also we have used a similar formula. So, as per this, we are applying the logarithm on this hash map. And here, if you see, there is a multiplication of two terms. Let us take this as Q and let us take this term as B. So now we are applying a logarithm on this. So that is log of R max of A into B. So this can be written as log A plus log B as per the logarithmic formula. Right? So here it is log base two. Let us do the same thing on this. So H map is R max log base two P of D by H plus log base to P of H. A is P of D by H that we have taken, log base to P of H. So now, if I want to maximize, I have taken the R max term. If I want to minimize, so how I can convert this formula is by applying a negative sign on this hash map. So R max will become R mu and a negative sign in front of ma log base to p of d by h and log base to p of h. So now the minimum description length principle. So it is using the information theory I said, right? And it is using log base to p i bits to encode a message i. And here this message is drawn randomly with the probability p i. So what does this p i is nothing but the probability of choosing the message i. And now the number of bits required to encode message I using code C. So here again for encoding, we have number of encoding techniques, right? So in that, whatever we have chosen, that we are indicating with capital C. So using that code, how many number of bits are required to encode the message I? So this is referred to as the minimum description length of message I written as LC of I. So here L stands for length. C is the code of code that we have used for encoding, and I is the message. And let us rephrase these terms. Let us take minus log base to P of H, which is the description length of H under optimal encoding for hypothesis space H. Let us take it as LC H of H. So here CH is the optimal code for hypothesis space H. And let's take minus log base to P of D by H, which is the description length of training data given hypothesis H under its optimal encoding. Let us take this as LC D by H of D of H. Here C of D by H is the optimal code for describing data. And here there is an assumption that both sender and receiver know the hypothesis H. 
okay so in the hmap formula we have taken this is the hmap formula right so in this we have taken log base minus log base to p of d by h as our lch of h and log base to p of h as lcb by h of d by h okay just we have just rephrased the terms let me show so this is our hmap equation so now from this what can we say the minimum description length principle it chooses the hypothesis that minimizes the sum of description lengths of hypothesis and hypoth and the training data given hypothesis so the sum of these two should be minimum as per the this minimum description length principle or in short mdl so in this once again let us take c1 as hypothesis and c2 as training data given hypothesis so the same equation we can rewrite as hmdl as r min lc1 of h plus lc2 of d by h So this is C H we have replaced with C one, and this is D by H we replaced with. So from the above analysis, what can we say? If we choose C one to be the optimal encoding of hypothesis C H, and if we choose C two to be the optimal encoding of hypothesis given data. that is c of d by h so then we can say the h map is equivalent to hmdl minimum description length principle okay this is about the minimum description length principle if you have any doubts please do post in the comment section thank you